Hey you right guys, Trish Hunters Joe here and today we are watching and reacting to episode 10 of Dharma Monster, the Jeffrey Dharma story, uh, season 1, or the only season we're going to get. And yeah, I've really, again, <laughs> enjoyed, I feel like I've done this every episode now, but I enjoyed the show uh, a lot. I think it's been actually better than I thought it was going to be. I think, for me, Ryan Murphy, like I said, has ups and downs. His great stuff is really great, like I think American Crime Story seasons 1 2 are very strong. I think seasons 1, 2, and 3 of Glee are admittedly very good. Um, 4, 5, and 6, though, are awful. 4, not awful. 5 and 6 are awful. Um, what else? Hollywood, I think, was okay. It's, I think when I watched it, I was like, oh, this is really good, but it's not a show that I've thought about since. Then American Horror Story, I think seasons 1 and 2, and then a couple in the later ones are very good. Then you have some okay ones, then you have some really bad ones. So it's a mixed bag. With, so I was, with this show, I was like, okay, it's either going to be really good or really bad. <laughs> and thankfully, it's actually been really, really good, mainly because of Evan Peters. I think he's been... Again, I was on the fence a bit because I think saying, like, Emmy-worthy, some people just give it, like, say it for actors or actresses that they really like in a role. I think sometimes I'm like, okay, I don't really... Like, I think, I, I think Sadie Sink's great as Max in Strange Things, but I didn't see, like, the... Emmy worthy performance there. Um, I think she was very, very good in season four of Strange Things. Um, maybe she could have been nominated for an Emmy. I don't know. Maybe look at she probably could have been, but I, I don't know. I think there was like better at, in the year. So and again, Max is my favorite character in Stranger Things. So whereas this Evan Peters, I was like, I'm not sure. And the last few episodes, I've been like, I could see, I could see a nomination. Probably not a win. Definitely not a win. But I think a nomination for sure. Uh, we'll see though. Pro probably not <laughs> because it's horror related and we know what Emmys and uh, Oscars are like with that. So yeah, Evan Peters has been amazing. Everyone else has been great as well. There's not been one weak link. I thought there could have been early on in the season. I was like, I'm not sure. But there's not been one weak link out of all the actors or actresses, which is good. <laughs> um, they've all, like, the actor who plays Glenda has been great. The Reverend was great. Uh, the. But mum and dad were very strong, so everyone's been exceptional in the show. Uh, the direct Jennifer Lynch did most of these episodes that I've taken note of, and she's done a wonderful job. But all the directors have as well. Episode six, I think, is definitely the standout, uh, unless this episode is better than episode six, but I, I'm not sure. And yeah, it's been interesting. Like I say, as someone who knew the very basics of Jeffrey Dahmer, it's been interesting going through this show, and it's like the more intriguing parts of it have definitely been just how we got away with it for so long like that is the like i feel like that is the point of watching this it hasn't been to like see the gory shit that went down because you you don't actually really get that with this season i think they've been respectfully so in as respectful as you can be with a show like this not too graphic with like the death scenes and uh, they did that, I seem to remember, they did that with American Crime Story Season 2 with Versace as well. They weren't overly graphic with, like, like I said in one of the other reactions, we don't need to see someone's head being, like, bashed in or any. And all I, they had some things, but it was more, like, left to the imagination, as far as the imagination can go, with knowing what actually happened to these victims, uh, than actually seeing it. Like, seeing shit like, oh, yeah, he he jacked off onto the corpses after they were dead like he had to stop chopping them up to jizz on them and it was like yeah we do we don't need to see that if it was fiction i mean fair enough if you want to be that dog but when because this stuff actually happened it's like we don't need to see certain things and i think they do that um creating the show as well so i like that they weren't too graphic with some stuff uh so and i'm saying that knowing that we had like heads in chests and corpses in fridges and barrels is still very graphic but it's more like the aftermath of it instead of the the actual killing so uh yeah i really enjoyed it it's been it's been a good show and we'll see how it ends i'm assuming we're going to see jeffrey Dahmer die in this episode uh like i say i'm pretty sure i know he dies because i won't again won't say in case people are <laughs> watching alongside but i'm pretty sure i know how he dies and i'm assuming we maybe we won't but i'm assuming we will see that in this episode so Episode 10, guys. Thank you very much for watching these reactions. Uh, hopefully you'll stick around. As we, I think the next Netflix show we have comes out a week today as of recording this, which is called The Midnight Club. That is from Mike Flanagan. That is fiction, I believe. 
uh, and that's the creator of The Haunting of Hill House, Blind Manor, Midnight Mass, so of course I'm going to be there, I'm going to react to all those episodes, so that's our next Netflix show. Episode 10 though guys, let's do this. Robert Pattinson? I don't know, 1977. What's this? 1977. What, um, what's that smell? Uh, okay, there's a clown oh. framed. Go. Probably a dead raccoon or something down in the crawl space. No, go. Oh, is this like another guy? It's an RC Cola. What the heck's wrong with you? Sorry. Thanks. No, uh, another one. He had a framed clown. Who does that? Because. I've never seen you in there before. Oh, bro. Here. Let me, let me show you something. How about we don't see something? I want to show you a trick. Oh! Made me get whiplash from that. <laughs> yes, mate! Oh, the pan. Oh, that's. Okay. Uh, yeah, you know when I said graphic death scenes weren't really shown in this? Well, never mind. Please go! Please go! Please go! Oh, is this like that, um... Is his name John? Yeah, John Wayne. Okay, yeah, I do know. I know who that was. Didn't, wasn't he an American Horror Story? How I many did he kill? Thirty-three. He's not the worst. Who's, Who's the worse worst? Than him? My neighbor. I mean, he did double what Jeffrey oh. did. You ever smell a dead body, Linda? Uh, John killed double though. That's my thirty-three or thirty-four. What the fuck? Sorry, my friend's sitting there. Yo, Jeffrey Dahmer is trying to get killed. I'm telling you, he is trying to be murdered. Fifty bucks for your autograph? No way. Come on, man. This guy be worth at least what? Hundred bucks? Hey, be worth this way more than that now. Item. I'll throw in some of these porno pics these girls have been sending me. I got no use for them. Porno pics? Pussies hanging out, everything. Okay, JD. I <laughs> sold him. Okay, JD. Okay, man, just because I'm getting a little sun today. Is this the guy who's going to kill him? Oh, Jeffrey, he's just pulling pranks, isn't he? He's a little prankster at the moment. Whatever you did to get in this joint, it's clear that you got zero remorse. <laughs> oh, dear, you went wrong I'm a Christian, that. and I find your behavior offensive. <laughs> I'm not doing research on him. I just want to see what he did to get in here. Oh, see they what the don't big deal know. about him is. Time spent in solitary has put me out of the loop, is all. He doesn't know what he actually even did. Cannibalism, ate them, yeah. Oh. <laughs> even he's like, bro. <laughs> he was returned by the cops. Sound audio is good. My prediction was 20 minutes in, he dies. 25 minutes, maybe. I'm, I'm at peace with myself. John. John Casey, now okay, John. Tomorrow night we'll hear how There's also the explosion and wide availability of pornography, which wasn't the case until the 1970s. Yeah, it's all to do with porn. Porn's fault. And Mortal Kombat, of course. Even in movies, like Star Wars. And I always like the bad guys more, you know? Hey, Darth, yeah, Darth Vader's cool. Well, I get it. What do you really want to ask me, Jeff? Am I Darth Vader? I really think we're different. I admitted to everything. All of it. You did do that. And Casey still says he didn't do it. Does he? Really? I wanted the well, death penalty. I don't know about now, but he's dead, but... Do you think God's forgiven him? For all that? 
That's the thing about grace. We don't deserve it, but we get it anyway. Bit of a cheat code. He says, today you will be with me in paradise. Jesus didn't ask him what he'd done to get crucified, didn't ask him if he was sorry. Well, Jeffrey's gonna become a All Christian. this guy had to do to be saved was to believe that Jesus was the Son of God. Gonna convert me. Show him mercy. I, mean, I know it's the Christian thing to do. When we all have fallen short, and at some point or another, we all deserve grace. But. But when it comes to Jeff Dahmer, I can't forgive him. Hey, you don't need to forgive him. I thought him being in jail for the rest of his life would be enough. It's not. I want to see him suffer. Hey, that's fair enough, Calenda. I ain't been at nightmares about it. I ain't gonna judge you. You have every right to feel those feelings and think those thoughts. But how do I make them stop? You can't. Yeah, there's no little cheat code to, to turn off, I'd imagine. It just takes time. And then one day, maybe a month from now, maybe a year, you'll see Jeffrey Dahmer's face somewhere and you won't feel a thing. Yeah, I can imagine seeing his face that much, though. Like, surely... Like, because he's everywhere, there would be a point where it's like, you just see nothing. But then there's been reports that the family have come out with this show coming out and been like, they're pissed about it and stuff. Obviously they're pissed. I, I don't know. It's like the amount of publicity that he got back then has just been kind of died out for a while. I don't know. Also, read someone was saying that Glenda wasn't even actually his neighbour or something. <laughs> like, they just made that up. I don't know. I'm not going to say anything because I haven't fact checked to myself. I'm saying what other comments have said. Thought that I was trying to profit from the victims and whatnot. You know, it's not true. But what are you going to do? Uh, it's probably cursed from the beginning. So. Yes, definitely. I could have told you that, mate. I guess what I wanted to ask you, Dad, is if. Uh... If you could ever forgive me. Oh, the big questions. I'll forgive you, sir. Wow. I do. I have. Yeah, your boy is. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> yeah. That's fair, I guess. That's good. Yeah, sure, Jeff. Strong stuff. Couldn't even down it. Strong. I remember Jeffrey Dahmer is still alive. They give it a few days, months, look. weeks. Come on, sometime. Let's get out on this dance floor. And show yes, them how Glenda. <laughs> Glenda and suit on. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> My favorite friendship. Just when you thought folks couldn't stoop Jeffrey it's Dahmer sick. versus Jesus. Like what? Into a superhero. I know I'm not going to read this. But I hope Jesus whoops Jeffrey Dahmer's ass. <laughs> yeah. One can hope. Yeah, who won in that book, I wonder? Don't look right at it. Put these on. Thanks. <laughs> I just had a vision of Donald Trump looking at the eclipse. Uh, yeah, don't look at it straight up. <laughs> the hour John Wayne Gacy's executed. Oh, oh, really? Day, Jeffrey Dahmer's baptized. We use this for rehabbing. Really, really that'll happen on the. Well, if that's works. true, an eclipse when John Wayne, whatever, died and Dharma was baptized. If that'll happen on the same day, that's actually kind of mad. Do you have any last words? Do a Krusty the Clown impression. How about. You all kiss my ass? Ah. Uh, How's that for last words? Are those his actual last words? Another question of mine. Oh, that guy's gonna be pissed about that. Yeah. So yeah, I need to know: was the eclipse thing on this day true, and were those actual actually his last words? Motherfucker, man. Yeah, 
drug guns here. Great music, though. The sun. The Holy Spirit. That's so cool. If that happened, that the is cool. Of sin. Official time of death. 12.58. Round of applause, no? Okay. You saved. You are saved, yeah. And you're gonna die in about five minutes. This is it, he's gonna die over here. Assume it's been a little while, he's got his little Jesus posters up. He's nearly finished the Bible as well, so that's a feat of its own. Yeah, this is where he's gonna die. Yeah. Yeah, this is it. You can just tell from the way it's all being added to and stuff. The vibe. Hey, guys, you're getting some help this morning. Maybe the cop was intentionally knew what was going on. Sure. A bit tense in this room, isn't it? A bit of tension. Yeah. The cop left. Come like, come on. The cop knew them. Again, could have been done for dramatic effect, I get it. I have to question these things, but... Ooh! What just happened? Jesse? I'm assuming he knocked him out, but it sounded like he killed him. Oh, he did. Did you enjoy it? I was lost. I turned away from God. So you believe in God? Yes, yeah, I do. I return to God. Well, I feel... Uh, I was off by ten minutes. The Lord spoke to me, Dom. He asked me to punish you for all of them and it's the lives you took. And remember you destroyed. <laughs> Is he accepting it? Is he like, yeah, that's, he knows. He's like, it's done. Hey. Oh. oh, there you go, he's dead. <laughs> One punch. They drugged him first so they wouldn't feel anything. Well, there ain't any drugs in this room, Jeff. You better feel every second of this. You don't feel bad, bro. <laughs> there you go. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Jeez. Mad. Mr. Dahmer, is he's he okay? Can we see him? Just, um. I'm afraid it's bad news. Huh. Is he dead? Oh, I know he's dead. Oh, yeah, okay. I was like, why are they at a hospital? Is he, like, somehow surviving and he dies in the hospital or something? I do feel bad for that. I've always like been through some shit. Wow. Oh, she's buzzing. Best day of her life. What? I didn't say a thing, did I? Hey, a laugh says a lot, actually. An autopsy, and when they do that, you know, the body is kind of dissected. Lionel knows all about that. He's who kind of sparked oh, Jeff's interest yeah, in the yeah, subject. Oh, you're, you're a piece of work, aren't you, Joyce? <laughs> Guys, scientists at Fresno State University would like to study Jeff's brain. Oh. oh well, I don't understand. Where, where's his brain been all this time? I mean, where, where is it now? Madison. McDonald's. Madison? In the pathology lab at the University of Wisconsin. Ah. He said no open casket, no funeral, no headstone, no marker. If you care so much about Jeff's no wishes, why'd you have a memorial service for him then? It was just a few family friends. But not his mother. Well, I mean, you two don't really get on. Dragging it out and just, you know, move on. Mr. Dahmer, this is something Flip the coin that on Mrs. It. Flint will choose to pursue in court. Yeah, I bet you will. <laughs> He's not even surprised, like, yeah, obviously, sure. Be good. I'm going to let you watch cartoons when we get home, okay? Cartoons? All yes, right. bro. Okay, well, which one you want? All of them! 
<laughs> Your dog, I'm gonna get you he, too. he wants all of them. You know why? Next. Death of a madman. Is that? Uh, she's just like, yep. <laughs> I believe it would be beneficial to the public and all concerned that there be closure. And that this matter is resolved once and for all. And what we'll do is we'll make a Netflix uh, show and a Netflix documentary about Dharma constantly. <laughs> I hereby order the brain Closure. to be destroyed. Oh, yeah. I also have to say, I object to the very nature what do you of the inquiry. Right choice or not? Dave, You'll uh, never know why. 28th of November, 1994. Them. Of course, and I appreciate your patience, Miss Cleveland. I realize we had to reschedule a few Seven. times. I'm sorry? Seven times. Ah. That's how many times your office rescheduled this. Seven but is okay. six times too many. <laughs> like all those times I called the cops on Diamond, I'm used to having to be persistent. <laughs> uh, that'll make you persistent, after I'm sure. I'm here on behalf of some of the victims' families. Did they ever get this park? And I walked past there the other day, and it's still a vacant lot. I mean, I it's been nearly two years. So I'm checking two. our system, and Are it you? seems we're still waiting on some permit approvals. Mm. How, how long do those take? Hey, they well, can take it's a while. hard to say until y'all demolish the building, but that don't erase what happened. It only erases the victims. And all we are asking Galenda. is that you put something on that site that honors their memory. And I will do everything in my power to help expedite that process. Will you, though? But from my experience, these things take time, and I'm afraid that wrong about the that. families are probably going to have to wait a little longer. Yeah, she ain't wrong on that one. Be nice if we just whip things up, but... <laughs> I'm used to waiting. Hey. <laughs> 25,000 years later, the park's built. No park or memorial to Jeffrey Jeff was ever built on the site of the Oxford Apartments. What a shocker. Stephen Yeeks. Oh, Stephen Yeeks was... Ah, oh, these are the dates they died. Richard, Anthony. Hey, do you have a tenure? Tony! <laughs> they got the hat and glasses and everything. Well, you can see, like, how quick he started to kill. Like I so, it just got easier for him. Dredged by Paris Barkley. Uh, I do just want to go back. So, yeah, you have the 10 year gap from Stephen to Stephen. Um, then a year later in Jan, then two months, then another year, then another year in May, then a month, three months. They killed two. In September of 1990. Um, then Feb, so then the next year, 1991, he just, yeah. 1991, he was just one, two, three, four, five, six, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the victims were in the first half of 1991. So, yeah, because 1990, you can start to see, like, he did, he killed four people and then he like doubled that in just the first half of 1991 so he was getting into like and he nearly killed someone else in 1991 so he was starting to just get yeah comfortable with that i think like I say he wasn't even being careful he, he had the polaroids in a drawer he was inviting the cops in he let s two three people escape he just started being like yeah and Based on how this show portrayed it, obviously, it could have been different in reality, but based on how this show portrayed Dharma, it seemed like he wanted to be caught in some way. So, yeah, rest in peace to all the victims. Uh, that's, yeah, that's mad to see them all up on the screen like that. It's, I say Tony looks, they cast him very well. And then, yeah, the 14 year old kid, he was. He was just a cop. So Tony died May 24th, and then the 14 year old boy was four, five, three days after that. Jeez. Three days after. Yeah. Alright. There we go, guys. That is Dharma Monster, the Jeffrey Dharma story. Very good show. Very sad show. Uh, I think. 
for me, out of the Ameri so out of the OJ Versace one and this, I'd say Versace at number three, Dharma at number two, and then I think the OJ trial at number one. Um, all three very different, of course, especially the OJ one. Like I say, OJ wasn't a serial killer, <laughs> uh, but yeah, this this show is very a lot more well made than I thought it was going to be. And um, this last episode, I gave most of the stuff I wanted to say at the start of this reaction, but. I think this episode was very well done as well, kind of seeing again, starting with John Wayne, well, I forget his last name, but yes, yeah, starting with him was kind of eerie and creepy, but it linking it, I was like, what is the purpose of this? But it did link in kind of with what, like with Jeffrey being baptised. That whole scene was my favourite scene of the whole episode, was the baptism, the eclipse, and then John dying as well. I thought that was very, it was, it was an interesting way of doing it. I wonder if that actually happened, if so, that's kind of mad, but... Yeah, this is just about Jeffrey trying to find trying to find God and be baptized and then being murdered, obviously. Which yeah, I was I I knew that's how he was gonna die. I didn't want to say it in case people were watching alongside for the first time, but I knew that was how he died. Um, so I assumed I assumed we were going to see it, and there we go. Done, done, and dusted. Because they said they didn't have the death penalty in Milwaukee, so he would. Techn if no one murdered him, he'd technically still be alive today. If he didn't die of like some heart failure or something, but technically he, there is like a world where he could still be alive today, <laughs> in twenty twenty two. Um, I don't know if Milwaukee has the death penalty now. Let's have a look. Um, does Milwaukee um have the uh, uh, capital punishment was abolished in 1853 ah okay so it's looking like no is the case <laughs> it's, I could be wrong I'm not going to like read all these articles but the, it says well it doesn't say no but it looks like it's saying no um, yeah rating for the episode I'll go in 8 out of 10 for the finale and as for the show as a whole, we'll go an eight point like four or something, eight point five. I gave Versace an eight, or I gave it a nine at the time, but I bumped it down to an eight. I think nine was a bit high. So Versace is an eight. This is an eight point five, and OJ, I think I gave a nine point five. I'd say. I think the worst parts of the OJ one are the first two episodes, and I think from then onwards, it's amazing. So. Yeah, I gave... Oh, no, I gave OJ a 10. Yeah. I love that show. That show is so good. It's got Sterling K. Brown in. And uh, David Schwimmer's in it. And John Travolta's in it. And a load of other actors that I recognise. Yeah, that was a... Yeah, I gave like four nines and two tens of that show. <laughs> the final two episodes are mad. But uh, yeah, anyway, really enjoyed the show, guys, and thank you for watching. If you've seen the OJ one or the all three seasons of American Crime Story, let me know where you'd rank those kind of four shows. All very different, but uh, it's interesting to kind of like I say going into all of those. I knew very little. I knew the basics, like with the OJ trial. I knew the basics. With this, I knew the basics. So it's kind of the ins and outs and the details of it that I found the most interesting part about it but yeah entertaining nonetheless and I'm sure in 10, 10 years we'll get another Dharma show played by KJ Aperol or something also Evan Peters amazing shout out to Evan Peters and also the actor who played Glenda I thought was very good so thanks for watching uh, I'll see you maybe next week for the Midnight Club until then take care peace